how is how is um Dio's concert? Um, yeah, Dio's was cool. It was, cool. It was vibes. I think to be it was honest, like it was very vibes. I liked it. Yeah, yeah I liked it. Looked pretty lit. Zlatan surprise was dope. That was a yeah. That was really dope. Nah, I didn't expect that at all. Top life crew is a classic, so I went off. <laughs> Look, man, I like I like the decoration. Actually, the person that designed the set was dope. Yeah, to Tosan, killing the MC and everything. You know what I'm saying? Max killing that shit. Um, As usual. Wani came, Wani came, killed it. Um, <laughs> Wani killed it? Is that what you said? Yeah, Wani, do you, you don't think so? Uh, I'm just saying, I'm just, I just didn't hear what you said, bro. Well, Fred, what do you mean Wani killed it? Why do you repeat up that? You know, they 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 were, they were, I was about Slatter, Wani killed it. <laughs> I think Wani killed it, like, he came up with a vibe. But yeah, no, I think that when he when, when when came to looking very different, no one has seen when he braids. Yeah, exactly. So the new chain, his presence was definitely refreshing. But I won't say when he killed it. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah, I thought it was quite quite dope. Like, you know, like people people knew what he was the songs he yeah. was gonna sing and stuff like that. So shout out to Wani. But no, man. to be fair, like I'm not saying that that was the best performance. I think the best performance definitely was the man. The man. For sure, easily. Yeah. Mojo and Dio obviously had the most hype, but in terms of like new raw energy, like with that yeah. funk stray stuff was quite like, I actually like that. I even had to tell him like, yo, I like the whole, yeah. you know, using old school and dropping your own flavor, new elements, so it was quite dope. Yeah. Fresh, if- Considering it's a song that just came out as well. So yeah. What the new one, Avi? Yeah. The one, the new song, yeah. Fresh, if if Wani was like a Yankee artist now, who would you relate him to? Like how he just came out straight out the door, like just straight out the door, had hits because Wani was moving on that stage like he had like just on some bossy. Mm -hmm. The thing with Wani is that because of because he was um you know blessed enough to to have actual placements, has obviously used that to like boost his um you know self-esteem and all that because i feel like a lot of people have been recording for years why have been doing music for a long time but the fact that he came out he got all the traction for his first ep and he was also able to make other people's albums and eps was a very dope move okay so you had yeah. a place when you came out with that project i remember seeing it everywhere yeah 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 for sure man it was everywhere he just started doing features right after that so we didn't even like look at wani as like this Obviously, he was still like a new artist, but like no one really saw him on a P where he really dropped one song, then dropped another song five months after. Then do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, um, that project was solid, man. All independent, so you know the boy cashed out. Yeah, yeah. just just quickly going back to the performance. I the reason why I was like, yo, why didn't kill this? Because he did everything you're supposed to do when you're on stage. Like yeah. you come out, introduce yourself, and also tell them at the end like you i'm gonna drop another project like it's all well and good like you know coming out killing a show but not yeah. telling people what you have in store or who you are it doesn't it doesn't work yeah. out. it was blah i was mad that's it do you know what i mean uh yeah. i'm glad you walk so by so tell you guy i'm the guy <laughs> yeah. Yeah. the thing is no i get what bias is saying and that's a very good point and like. the great the greatest the greatest do it drake does it all the time every single performer i go by the name of drake watch out for my new every single time. And it's like something that just has to ring back in into like your subconscious. And that's how people will remember you. It's crazy. Mad. Mad. So would you say when he came out like a Drake or would you say like, I don't know, maybe like a Bryson or like what, what would you say is, if you had to relate him to like a Yankee artist who just came out of the rip, dope project to start with. And then obviously a couple of features kills all the tracks that he's on. Who would you say? I think I'll say August Alcina. No, that's what that's what me I'll say personally because I remember before August dropped his album that I really liked the first that classic album. I heard two songs from him randomly, the same way I heard two random Wani freestyles on SoundCloud. I heard two Wani songs, and the next thing I got from Wani was a classic. Yeah. So just that feeling of, I didn't know August from anywhere. Do you understand what I'm saying? Then all of a sudden, like the whole industry embracing him. He's doing BT awards, he's doing blah, blah. Same thing with Wani, everyone embracing him. 
He's doing Palmyra music with SDC. He's doing this with DRB. He's doing this with Odonsi. He's doing this with this person, performing at this concert. Do you get what I'm saying? So he moves like he's already been here on these like big stages for years, but really actually just like his first round. Yeah, he must have been ready. That's August for... reminded me of Shah, so I don't know. Fair, fair. Bias, what about you? What do you think? I, won't, I, I don't know. I, I don't have like a specific artist I can be like, oh, he came out like this person. All I know is just he just did the basics right, and that's all, that's all you can do. Yeah. And his, his pen, his pen is heavy. The Alternative Network.